Hello everybody, I'm Jorge Michel Sierra. The article chosen was the non-English major lectures speak English. The barriers encountered by adult learners. This article shows us a qualitative research made among 10 lectures of non-English. The methodology used in this study is a qualitative methodology and they were taking part of an English discussion. The purpose of this research was to know the obstacles or barriers that an adult learner has in the learning process, which is qualitative aspect found in an observation study. It is not a numeric data. First of all, they join a group of adults and make an interview in order to know some aspects that they believe are important to learn English and to practice English in their life. An interview is part of the qualitative methodology. Some aspects evaluated in this research took place in meetings by observing, talking with learners and realizing what they did, what they talk about, and what they thought about the different question. By analyzing each answer given by the lectures, the researchers could realize some problems that an adult has to face when they are learning English language. This is very essential when we are doing a, a study with qualitative methodology, since we need to observe and analyze all aspects such as behaviors, words, and even those in order to make conclusion, take action, and solve issues. In this study, researchers found qualities, aspects that can be counted, such as differences in learning process of adults and children. For example, an adult needs to know what they need to learn. An adult needs to be self-directing. The role of the learner's experience. An adult has readiness to learn. Adults have orientation to learn. Adults have motivation to learn. We can notice that the aspect form was only features, points of view, aspects which only we can realize by observing or making an interview. The difference between quantitative studies is that in this the aspects found are numbers, persons, etc. Thanks so much. Goodbye.